Hello everyone and welcome to the 45th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features and finally we test them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and what else you'd like to see in our future videos. Why there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to know if I have upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So I said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of the episode. And getting started with the first creation of the episode, we have the gift to the devs. This is a creation done by a content creator called Jason2004. Now, Pretty much all this is is a small little trophy that he's gone and created in game uh, to commemorate or actually to thank the developers of this game for their uh, pretty much amount of effort that they put into the game with consistently updating it every single Friday, uh, consistently updating the bugs and fixing them and also doing major updates every three months. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's spawn this and see what it's like uh, and what it looks like here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the first creation, you can see we have the trophy here in front of us. Now there actually isn't anything besides this, it's just a couple blocks with some paint, uh, paint blocks on top of it. There's no special hidden gadgets or compartments or anything like that. It's purely just a trophy with the Steam logo and the Stormworks logo. Obviously just to commemorate and also to thank the developers for their hard work here in game. Now I'm not going to carry on with this much more. I'm going to go ahead let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode we have the ZE Rescue Jelly. This is a new version of the jelly uh, done by a content creator called Euron Wand. Now this is meant to be obviously for rescue rescue purposes. Uh, actual helicopter or gyrocopter itself um, has a top speed of about 100 km per an hour. It has a fuel reserve for about 30 meters of flight time. Uh, it has five plus two extra seats in there. There's a water cannon, a map, a radio, a transponder, all these cool things. So let's go ahead, let's spawn in, see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next creation, you can see we have the little jelly here. Now this jelly does look much different compared to the other jellies that we've seen before. Now just going around it here, it seems like we have the water cannon and also some lights uh, the main cockpit here which you can has a full axis of underneath and above which is pretty cool uh, it seems like we have the two entry doors the actual uh, axis and stuff to go and move ourselves and we have the usual electrical fluids and radiator here at the back with looks like battery and fuel levels um, cool so let's go ahead we have some snow equipment there and on the other side looks like some diving equipment we have a couple seats uh, looks like the engine here at the back uh, we also have two harnesses that you can go and or two harnesses and also a way to get water in okay interesting um, I don't know how you get those I guess you just push it out okay uh, along with that is we have our co-pilot and pilot seats let's go and turn the light off here nothing above us uh, we have battery engine okay so that's automatically on uh, what else do we have full out landing lock doors slow mode gyrocopter mode hatch auto open water pump magnets ambient lights spotlights heater winch up down transponder push to talk okay so we have a radio channel here looks like just a map system just over here uh, also switches to camera nice uh, we then have not too sure what that is just yet and looks like just some normal normal ways for us to go read the championship battery and stuff uh, fallout landing mm, not sure yet that the lock doors okay so we just lock those doors nice and easy actually uh, we have battery engine, cool, happy with that. Auto hatch open. Don't know what auto hatch open does. Uh, I think let's get it up in the air, guys. Let's see how. Oh, we have magnet, ambient lights, spotlights. Okay, and then I'm guessing just up and down. I can hear it, there we go. Yeah, and then we're off. Turn. Okay, so that's left and right. And move left and right. Oh, nice. Okay, so we can just go and move. Nice, very stable. Very, very stable, actually. Uh, let's go see what else we have. I was wondering what the hatch auto open did. Uh, not too sure, to be honest. Let's go and turn it off. Water pump. Maybe we need some water in there. Uh, magnet, heater. Is there any way for us to tell how much water we have? Okay, there's the camera which is directly underneath us. Nice. Okay, it doesn't look like let's go to that seat. Ah, okay, so now we have 
water cannon left and right. Okay, up and down. I wonder... I'm sure that's to pump it in. Hmm. I'll activate the water cannon. Battery backup. Hmm. Okay, let's go and fill it. Actually... Let's put it in gyrocopter mode here. Nice. I'm just cruising around. Now, this has got a engine in it in comparison to what we saw before uh, with the with it is that before it was electric powered now it's actually got an engine which is pretty cool uh, let's go and drop our wind shear and uh, let's open our doors I still don't know what Ford out landing does to be honest uh, let's go and see if we can get this push it out and uh, let's go and lower the winch more okay seems like we're still at an angle here Oops. Let's put it that direction. Why are we at that angle? I'm yeah, so angle it that way so we don't end up in the ocean. There we go. Okay, I got that out. Maybe that was weighing it down, I think. Okay. Let's go and move it into the water here. Let's lower ourselves down. Maybe we, that has to be in the water for the fire pumps to work. I don't think it has an internal tank, maybe. Okay, let's drop that in the water let's get our water pump on yes okay so now you can see we have our water cannon so it has to be in the water okay but that's pretty cool it's so nice and stable let's go and lift it out and see how long it lasts for i'm guessing it's going to cut yeah it instantly cuts okay so it does have an internal tank but that's really cool a lot of cool features on here pretty much everything you need to go firefighting i actually do some rescue missions and things also which is quite nice we just can see how long the fuel lasts um guessing it'll probably last quite a long time but yeah really cool creation let's go ahead let's move on to the next one and moving on to the next creation of the episode we have the scroll g9 tilt rotor rescue aircraft this is a creation done by content creator called lex 13. now this is meant to be a rescue helicopter as it says but actually it's a tilt rotor so it can go as a plane or it can go as a helicopter it has about 100 about 260 kilometers of top speed on there uh so really quite cool uh a lot of other interesting things in there um the actual workshop page itself is quite long uh, with all the features and things it has in there, but it seems like it has all the Lua scripts, all the things you probably want on it. So let's spawn in and let's see what it's like and see what it's got inside it. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing looks very awesome and very unique. Uh, it's got a really interesting front end to it and you can pretty much see straight into that cockpit, which gives you great visibility. Now, it seems like we have some water cannons here on the side, uh, a ton of paint blocks pretty much everywhere. Uh, it seems like a way to get in here, and we also have a harness on a winch going along. We actually have those engines, which look awesome. Um, more paint blocks going around. We seem to have the suspension here at the back and some type of like water tank here. Um, small paint blocks, I love those wings there at the back looks really good and pretty much the same on the other side seems like a refueling way there also another water cannon and so on and so forth let's go inside and see what we have in here so uh, hold okay love the detailing really quite nice uh seems like we have the winch controls and a light toggle button to close our hatch some equipment some pumping stuff okay what else do we have on this side more equipment more pumping stuff more another door to go and close Passenger seat, passenger seat, going down into the cockpit. Ooh, some stuff down here. Um, what is this? Is? Left pump, right pump. So maybe this is the water cannon controls down here. Interesting. Uh, we have pilot seat, pilot seat. I don't know which one we use to fly with, to be honest. I'm guessing this looks like... No, no. Okay, I think we need some power. So let's go and try and find the power. Engine boost, no. Keep heating, enable, disable, no. Autopilot stuff. Is there a on off starter? Okay, there we go. Okay, it seems like we might need some throttle though. Seat bearing, altitude, fuel consumption, interior lights. Huh. Okay. Okay, there we go. We're good. 
So let's go back to the seat that we have. So, okay, so it's like a radar control station here. Seems like we have places to drop water, channel radio, heater, navigation lights, search lights, landing lights. So more than enough lights there. Okay, cool. Let's get those off. Water pump to water tank, magnets, and looks like a radar of some sort here on the screen. Okay, let's move along. So in the middle here, Wirecrons, Econauts, DTT, ETA, looks like our autopilot stuff. Cool, we'll test that out. Why not? Let's put that in. Uh, I don't know, this is out of order and this is toggle. Okay, put that in. What else do we have? So this is the main seat with something on screen here. Interior lights, yeah, let's get the interior lights. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it automatically switches to night vision mode here on the left. Uh, we have, I'm guessing, heading fuel altitude set let's put that at 199 it's bearing we don't need starter altitude hold mode change okay so just like that it's taking off by itself let's get the landing gear up nice just tucks away heavy plane modes lift force should we try heavy plane mode oh just like that we're we're flying. Hmm. I'm going to enable target mode. Autopilot works. Wow, that is really cool how it's banking. It's really nice. Let's turn off. Oh no. Let's put it in helipane mode. Yeah, no issues at all. A little bit wobbly here, but perfectly fine. That little on screen here is pretty cool too. That is altitude, speed, obviously your horizon here, that's quite nice. Yeah, and that's pretty much about it. There's nothing else. I think this is the water cannon stuff here at the bottom, which I'm interested to see. Altitude, speed, left pump on. Yeah exactly what I thought it was water cannon nice I like that that's a cool little thing it's a pity that it hits it hits that when you turn it because then you can't kind of get in the center here you have to always do it off to the left or right but yeah that's still cool very nice creation really nice pretty much everything you need okay all these doors oh, okay something with the doors Looks like they're about to explode or something, I don't know. But yeah, really cool little decoration. Really quite nice. Loads of detail, lots of lure in there. But really good, nice one to go on with this episode. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the next creation of the episode. This is a creation done by a content creator called Nymph. You guys know his work already on the workshop. Now, this is meant to be a four engine turbo prop mobility transportation uh, plane. Now, with it, there's a couple cool features. Um, it was originally designed as a troop minivac and cargo transport, but obviously this is versatile and you can do other roles, including gunship, etc, etc, etc. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this and see how it flies and how it looks here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, he has gone and folded the wings and the tail rotor, right obviously to fit in the hangar there, but boy, does this thing look good really really nice now going along obviously some paint blocks we have some landing gear on the sides there uh we have the main engines yeah pretty much just engines there quite nice how he's gone and done that i'm think i'm possibly thinking those are custom or modded blocks that he's gone and used there to hide that there i could be wrong um seems like we have some fuel tanks on the wings along with that is two entrance doors we have the main way to get in or the cargo area. It looks like the same on the other side. Okay, let's go on the back of the cargo now. Love the detail on the paint blocks, very similar to what I did on my chin hook. Um, lovely detail in the back here. It seems like we have the two doors to get in and out. We have the ramp that we can go and toggle. It's very quick though. So you can toggle to flat or up or so on and so forth we have green light red lights okay nice 
going along, nothing else, some nice seats. Uh, we have altitude and speed, camera there at the back, and I guess a way to get into the cockpit, I might have to jump a bit. Yeah, so jumping up, we have an operator, doesn't look like there's anything there, Ooh, glitching there. Uh, nothing else, looks like just some more detailing. We have a chief crew, oh, fold stairs, okay, there we go. A chief crew, co-pilot and pilot, so the co-pilot has altitude and some monitors, there's some engine flaps and so on and so forth, oh, glitched again, uh, and the main pilot seat's just over here with a lot of buttons here at the top. Let's go and see what we have. Formation light, taxi lights, instrument cockpits, heaters, altitude, landing lights, navigation lights, tail lights, cargo bay lights, main power, control surface power, landing gear, unfold, yeah, we want to unfold, fire suppression, camera power, display systems, light power, engine power, turbo, oh, no, not yet, fuel pumps, emergency tanks, Jetson, fuel pumps, Turbine starters, we'll go and then a couple minutes, but it seems like we, let's go and just formation light, taxi lights, instrument lights, cockpit lights, uh, heaters, no, altitude hold, no, landing lights, yeah, navigation lights, yes, tail light, yes, cargo bay lights, yes, get all the lights on. Okay, so you got all the lights on there, nice little bluish green light in there, we have some cameras, just a whole bunch of cameras, looks like set altitude, let's go and put that at 200, we'll test that soon. Brother Collective Engine Throttle, let's get that up and let's start our engines. Okay, what else do we need? Fire suppression, no. Unfold, yes. Heaters, altitude hold will turn off just now. Okay, we're fine with that. Let's get, I want to get these lights off. Hmm. Where were the interior lights here? cockpit lights there we go okay cool so let these engines get up um batteries good speed fuel rps is slightly worrying that that's nothing showing there but okay seems like we're fine do we have a brakes i didn't see one let's try the flaps there i'm gonna go have a look at those okay so this is the flaps okay let's get that down throttle so we're going to start moving. Yeah, we're all moving. Great. Let's try and turn it. No. Hmm. Okay, left brake, right brake. Front brake. Okay, front brake's on. Let's put on our left brake. Okay, so that's how we'll turn, I guess. By using the brakes. Pity you didn't go and front wheel steering unless I missed it the thing I did um, okay so let's go and just turn slowly turning and then I'm gonna ramp up the throttle as soon as we get more or less flat here because we need to we need to clear this mountain before we can take off is there anything else we don't need I don't think fire suppression landing gear will turn off soon as soon as we get airborne Cool. Okay, we're just about lined up here. Probably start throttle up to full. And then I'm going to take off the brake. And put our throttle, collect the throttle. There we are. Boom, just like that. Quick and easy and nice and stable. Wow. Let's get the landing gear up. Where is landing gear? Landing gear falls away, goes and hides itself, I think. Yep. And landing gear is gone. Nice. Let's go and get our altitude on. Uh, and we're going and cruising at our set altitude. Nice. And now we can just walk around like a normal plane. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to turn the altitude hold off and I'm going to test how stable this thing is. Oh yeah. That is, that controls really nicely. Nice and sensitive. 
You can go and control. I bet you I could probably get it a couple of feet off the water here. Oh, okay, and I just crashed that one. My fail. Um, this is a really lovely creation, absolutely gorgeous, um, and flies like a dream. Just don't go try and fly into the water like I did. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the HCS Taniwa Deep Sea Submarine. This is a creation done by a content creator called Morley Man. Now, this is meant to be a deep sea submarine for medium to uh, medium range to low depth missions. Now, he said it is a work in progress, so there are going to be some improvements and changes going in the future. Uh, but it has quite a cool different features in there, including um, solar charging system. There's space for crew, four crew members. There's uh, onboard generator. There's sonar equipment. There's radio equipment. Uh, there's all kinds of cool things in there. So let's. Go Go ahead, let's spawn this and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the last creation of the episode, you can see we have the submarine and boy does it look good. Uh, with this yellow and it's black and grey, it, oh, it just looks really nice. The amount of detailing up on the top deck here. Uh, swimming around, there's so many things. Looks like we have the main, I'm guessing, control stations, propellers, refueling. More propellers, more propellers underneath there. Looks like a rail system of some sort. Um, lights all around. Yeah, let's go and get up on top here. Let's try and jump up. Uh, it seems like we have some winches here at the back, some cables. We have a generator access hatch. Okay, okay, can't, yeah, can't really get much in there. Let's close that off. Uh, what else do we have? Fuel release connectors, more magnets on the side. We are moving slightly. That's fine. Seems like we have a sonar or some kind of radar thing here. The camera. We have looks like the main access hatch. Uh, some more winches and stuff. Looks, I'm guessing this is a refueling spot or battery charging spot. Okay, let's go ahead and get inside here. So let's go open that. And can we close this from inside? Yeah, we can. Uh, what's this? Okay, so this is draining the extra water. Refine. Okay, so that door just opened. Okay, now diving gear in there. We have a radio frequency. Airlock toggle door. Door, what's in here? So there's a main cockpit. We'll come back to that in a couple secs. Engine power is on. Lights. Okay, that's all on. Let's get the lights on in here. Ooh, what's this? So we've got a bed. Pump to air takes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, engine starter. Okay. Pumps all on. Raise lower depth. Ooh, that's cool. It's a stand desk almost. External solar panel power. Ooh, okay, so we've got power bus solar. Uh, it seems like we have the engine room with some lights that activate by themselves. Exhaust pumps are on. Nice. Okay, let's go and... Ooh, some water there. A little bit of a glitch. Uh, let's go and close that door. We're happy in here. Uh, do we have... Air... Battery's good. I don't know if we turn this off. Yeah, let's turn that off. Again, I'm going to kill the generator. Don't need the generator for going underwater. Get our air. Okay, happy with that. Let's go and get into the main. Ooh, I like that. Lights come on, little noise comes on. That's cool. That is cool. Uh, what do we have here? So it looks like a door, just a little map, some uh, cool operator driver, operator seats, headlight angles, it's like cameras everywhere, a little radar, I love that. Ballasts, let's get the ballast full. Autopilot depth inputs, autopilot toggle, difference, great. Throttle, toggle arm lights headlights infrared 
exterior lighting, Ooh. lower lighting. Okay, well, uh, we have view radio camera feed now, water jets. I guess that's just for maneuvering. Okay, can we turn? We might have to get our throttle up. Yeah, we're moving. Let's get the water jets on. Do that, see if that will help. We are sinking. Okay, let's go carry on moving along here. Oh, this thing's awesome. Nice and stable. Okay, we're about straight now. Let's go and give it some more throttle. What is that? Seabed collision. Okay, maybe we're too low to the seabed. Yeah, that's still there. Hmm. I don't, on and off. Okay, so what should be our coordinates? Let's put in down here. Let's test that out. And let's put our desired depth. It says meters. So what should we do? 10 meters below the sea ground? Depth hold toggle. Autopilot toggle. Okay, so I guess we're still filling up ballasts. Okay, we should be going down soon. Should be. Yeah, I'm pressing the down button, hoping that would go down soon enough. I'm just going to leave it to cruise. Actually, I'm going to turn this throttle off and see if we sink more because we should be sinking more. I just want to test these because apparently there's some arms here. So, arm extension. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, we do have an arm left and right. It's up and down. So, left. Okay, so you can. Wow, you can actually play with it quite a bit. Can you. Oh, yeah, you can rotate it too. That's awesome. You can pretty much pick up anything you want. Uh, hopefully, I was hoping that we'd be sinking a bit. Doesn't look like it just yet. Still on. Oh, hold on. Maybe negative will help. Let's see if we start going down. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Negative 10, hmm. turn the autopilot off, depth hold toggle should be good, ballast are full. Hmm. Oh well, listen, this is an absolutely gorgeous submarine, it's everything you need, it's interesting why it didn't go down, maybe we need, some, maybe we need those engines on, let's go and put those engines on, let's go and try those. So. Okay, we're happy. We'll pump A at the moment. Why not? Still have it. Should be moving now. Should be. We are moving. There we go. wonder if we'll start going down anytime soon. I'm going to turn the depth, depth hold off. See if I can't manually get it to go down. Ballast of fill. Let's see if we can climb down a little bit. Still doesn't want to climb. Dive at least. Seems like it's getting there very slowly. Turn the water jets off. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well. Not gonna mess around with this too much more. I'm probably doing something wrong, to be honest. Um. But yeah, absolutely 
gorgeous little submarine. Has everything you need in it. Even go diving. Let's go and turn that off. Open the hatch. And go out. Should be able to. Yep, there we are. Now we're diving. You can go put some cargo on the sides there if you want to. Okay, we have everything you need. Now it seems like it's diving a little bit more now. Yep, there. Can you guys see? It just went and dove. Too bad we're not in it anymore. <laughs> anyway, lovely one to end this episode off with. Uh, yeah. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.